The XK Glow Dual Sport Series Headlight Kit. Sure, we could put it in our studio and throw a bunch of rocks at it, splash some water on it, or even catch it on fire. But here at XK Glow, durability is a standard, and we don't just sell lights, we use them. Hey guys, this is Riley back with XK Glow, and today I'm going to show you how to install one of our brand new Dual Sport Series headlight kits in this 2020 KTM 350. To begin this install, we are going to remove the number plate. To do that, you have to pull the rubber straps off both sides. Once those are off, lift the number plate up and fish the cables through. Now, unplug the turn signals and headlight, then remove it from the bike. To take the headlight out, remove the two torx head screws, then start to rotate the light until it comes out. Next, we are going to install the new mounting plate. This will be a tight fit to ensure stability for the lights, but the trick to getting it in is to start the tab on the bottom, then use your finger to stretch the number plate screw holes to pop the mount into place. Once the plate is in place, install the fasteners in the stock headlight screw locations, then use a self-tapping screw for the bottom. I pre-drilled the hole out before putting the screw into place. Once the plate is mounted, it is easiest to install the 6 inch light bar first. Don't fully tighten up those bolts until the cube light is in as well. But before the cube light is mounted, you must insert the provided spacers into the side of the cube light. Once the spacers are in, install the cube light to the mount. It is important to test fit the plate on the front of the bike to determine the height angles of both lights. After the angles are adjusted, tighten the bolts for both lights. This is how I ran the wiring harness from the battery to the front of the bike. I tied up the harness with zip ties along the frame. The provided wiring harness will have a positive and negative wire that will go directly to the battery with a built-in relay. We will wait to wire it to the battery until all other lights are connected. The best way to get the number plate reinstalled is to fish the cables through and start plugging everything back in. First, I plugged in both turn signals to the factory locations, then reconnected the ignition. The connector on the new wiring harness will plug into the factory headlight connector. Then you will plug in the cube light positive wire to the yellow wire and the light bar positive wire to the red wire on the provided harness. It is important to get these in the correct location because this sets the high and low beam. Plug in the ground wires of both lights to the remaining ground connectors and you are ready to put the number plate into place. Line up the bottom posts into their recess mounts, then attach the rubber straps on both sides. Be sure not to pinch any wires during that step. Connect the positive and negative terminals to the battery and the lights are ready to ride. It is very important to test functionality of all the lights before getting it back on the road.